Welcome, I'm Nani from Human Design Tools, and this video is all about human design and grounding into Gate 61. Gate 61 is a gate of knowing. You just know. You don't know how you know, but you know. So knowing is the most elusive feeling that you could have because it's this sense of certainty or assuredness, but it doesn't just occupy your mind, it's also inside your body because it's this strong belief that something's going to happen, but you don't have the evidence to prove it. But that's okay for you because you know, you just know, but you can't always explain it to other people. There can be a pain in gate 62, and this is maybe where you'll feel ungrounded, and it's the pressure to know why. So if you're always feeling like you need to answer why, it can keep you from being fully present and it also can zap your creativity. And others don't always blindly accept your knowing the same way that you know inside. So it can be hard to trust yourself sometimes because this is a very logical modern world that we live in and it values logic over intuition. So sometimes there can be a pain here from trying to figure out why. So how can you get grounded in the energy of gate 61? The first thing to do is just stay in that sense of wonder and don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure out why. Just let the inspirations come in so you can be in wonder. Let go of limiting beliefs or things that have told you that you, that you don't know and that there has to be logic. And along with that, cultivate your self-trust. If you do this along the way, when times of chaos or you know, times of change come in, you'll have this foundation of self-trust that allows you to use this inner knowing as a guide. So you could look back at times when you trusted your intuition or your knowing and it worked out or times when you didn't trust it or you didn't listen to it and then it didn't work out. So kind of just look back in, at your life and see, see how you've used it already. So the key to staying in wonder is kind of like having these childlike eyes. And I think the essential oils that come from fruits can really help with this because they are really high vibration and they uplift you. So essential oils like wild orange, lemon, lime, grapefruit, or bergamot would be great for a gate 61. If you want to learn more, check out humandesigntools.com or go straight to Pinterest, Instagram, or you can check out my Human Design and Essential Oils podcast. Um, that's available on any platform that you like to listen to. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in, listen, watch, and learn about the energy of Gate 61. Thank you.